Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Wayne DeGroote from dq.ddd.ca. Today's lesson is an advanced lesson. It is dealing with uh, site plan and elevation of the site plan, specifically, so you can make a walkout basement or a daylight basement. Let's get started. So I'm going to be using the existing drawing, which is right here, where we have our deck, which is right off of the grate here. And the grate is six inches from the top of the foundation. Here's the right elevation and the blue line, which is right up here. I'll zoom in. That is the existing grade. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the grade or slope the grade from uh, the door the garage door with the man door back here and it's going to slowly slope down to the four feet so I can have some larger basement windows. So what I'm going to do depends on the area that you uh, build it. Um, I'm just going to put the windows on this level here and, and just have them exposed. So in other words the concrete wall will actually go downwards. You could do a pony wall, a knee wall, same, same thing, but we'll just do the window in the foundation. So let's get started. The first thing is we need to do is put on our side plan. So as a default, the horizon is is turned on for the site plan. I'm going to slip over to the site plan. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the site plan itself. So I'm going to draw site line, property, and sketch. If I had my own coordinates, like from a surveyor, I would put them in through this method right here. But I'm going to be just sketching it on. Click on here and just go around. Site plan actually will go by whatever offsets you have. So um, the basement's offsets start at the bottom of the wall. So if I technically want my site plan to start uh, seven foot six up from the zero, that's where it is right now. So I want it to be uh, switch over to the 3D. Now our new site plan's on. As you can see, it's not going to the horizon line because we are specifically saying that it's going to do the site plan that we've drawn in itself. So, okay, so now we're going to expose our back. So I'm gonna switch back over to our site plan here. And uh, I'm gonna zoom in up uh, upper left-hand quadrant so you can sort of see what's going on. Now it says it's uh, 7.5 feet up from zero. Again, the zero is the bottom of the walls itself. What I do know is that the around here, the base of the, I want it to expose larger windows. So I'm going to estimate four feet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw on one grade uh, shot point. I'm going to draw on one right around there somewhere. Let's zoom in, see what I'm doing here. That and just gonna throw on a couple on here. Other side, and we also know that uh, I want my my seven five to be on the other side of the garage door, the man door that we already saw, because I have our my man door, which is here. I'm gonna break my elevation here and slope down that way. Okay, and. Um, I'm not sure about in between, but I definitely want to have a flat area near the bottom here. So I'm going to put on uh, a new shot point, and it's going to be around here somewhere. Okay, I'm going to zoom in here just to you, show you what's going on. It's tell telling me that that shot point happens to be uh, 7.48. I'm going to make that elevation 4. And I'm going to do the select again, which is S on the keyboard, and I'm going to put them all in. Okay, now after that is done, and uh, now the bottom corners, I want to change to a uh, two foot, because that is two feet away. Of course, we have our four foot here because it's a minimum of uh, foundation depth. So when I force the corners to go down to two feet, 
what's going to happen, the upper left hand corner or the upper right hand corner are going to be at your 0.75 and then it's going to go up to the house where it's 0.75 and then wherever I have my next points it'll actually do the math for me and figure out that there's going to be some lines in here. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. So the back, the bottom two corners are at two feet now. Well, let's check out the 3D and see what we got. So I have, uh, of course I have a floating staircase, and hey, let's take care of that right now. Let's just change that in plan view. So I'm going to click over to click over to the main floor plan and then edit the stairs. Okay, as a default the uh, stairs are set to uh, 15 inches. Of course that leaves us with a height of 7.5. <coughs> I'm going to change that to uh, well let's see. Click on my little handy calculator. Put that in, in here clear and I'm gonna put in 7.5 inches multiply by let's try 8 inches equals 5 feet exactly hit enter on that it should show me a number of risers and there's a height of uh, 7.5 all right so I'm gonna click on OK there's our risers, and let's check out the 3D. Mm, not too bad at all. That's what I'm looking for. Maybe we should throw in some railings after we put in our windows, which is the whole point of this. So we'll put in some windows first. So back to our floor plan, and then over to basements. Okay, we're in our basement, site plan, drawing. All right, let's throw some decent windows inside of here. Well, time's almost up, so so window casement. Let's put in some uh, 48, 42s. Okay. Sometimes I like going in control P just to see where the windows are. Now unfortunately these windows did not go to the top of the screen. You can sort of see here that the top of the wall is here and the top of the window is there. So you always verify the window height and they should have a zero offset. Windows are, I do believe, the only thing that comes from the top of the item as opposed to the bottom like everything else. Hit OK and then do a repeat edit on the other ones. So now the, the windows at the top of the walls, which is what we're looking for, uh, they're not quite centered. Um, switch back over to drawing mode. I like this tool here, it's called um, under edit, is a equally spaced openings. All you have to do is click on that, click on the wall itself, and I'm going to use the outer wall. As you can see, uh, the wall is kind of a highlighted yellow on the outer, so I'm just going to click on that and it will center it up for you. I'm going to switch over to the main floor plan and throw in some railings. Main floor plan. So draw, uh, deck, and railing. I'm going to start down here since our stairs are actually quite wide. I'm just going to throw them on just here. Not being too particular because sometimes I like uh, having the railings hide inside of the columns themselves, but I'm not being too fussy right now because of the time that's involved. Click here, shoot across here, and cross up here. Alright, let's check that out in 3D. And Alright, there we go. Excellent. Yeah, thank you so much for watching Softland TV. Uh, if you have any requests on how to do anything inside of Softland, please email me at softlandtv at ddd.ca.